Hi students, today's flip is going to be on direct object pronouns, and you can find a note sheet to accompany this video on page 17 of your packet. This concept is a little bit difficult for some students, so please make sure that you are paying attention, you are taking good notes, and write down any questions that you have or anything that you would like to have clarified. So to start out, let's connect this to the English language. So we have direct objects and direct object pronouns in English as well. So direct object pronouns in any language, English or Spanish, um, they receive, R-E-C, receive the action of the verb in a sentence. They answer the questions who or what receives the action of the verb. So a direct object can be a noun, but it can also be replaced with a direct object pronoun, which is what we're going to practice today. So a couple of examples. Luisa is buying the blouse. If you ask yourself who or what is receiving the action, so who or what is Luisa buying? The blouse. So the blouse is our direct object noun. In English, the pronoun we would use is it. Luisa is buying it. You can do the same thing in Spanish. So if you look at this sentence in Spanish, Luisa compra la blusa. ¿Qué o quién compra Luisa la blusa? That's our direct object noun. We can replace it with a pronoun, which basically means it, which in this case would be la. Okay, so again, direct object pronouns can be used to replace direct object nouns in a sentence. It just makes it a little bit less specific. So instead of I'm buying the blouse or the shirt, I am buying it. So here's how we do it in Spanish. We have direct object pronouns for everything in Spanish. And just like everything else, we want to make sure that it agrees in gender and in number. So when you're using me as a, one of your direct objects, so you are the person receiving the action of the verb, you use me. Te, if you, the subject you, is receiving the action of the verb. And then if you formal him or it, so something in it that is masculine and singular, we're going to use lo. And then if something that you're talking about is, oh, and this should not be him, actually, it should be her, it, or you formal, so something feminine, we'll use the direct object pronoun la. So all of these ones over here are our singular direct object pronouns. So that would make the ones over here plural direct or object pronouns. So if, if us or we are the, the object of a verb, so we're receiving the ab object of a verb, we're going to use the direct object pronoun nos. If you all in Spain is the subject that's receiving the action of the verb, we will use os, and we don't often use this one because remember it's only in Spain. And then if what we're talking about, the object of the pronoun or object of the verb is something plural. If it is masculine, we'll use los. If it is feminine, we'll use las. So an example of something over here that would be um, replaced with los or las, if I want to say like, I want them, the shoes, yo quiero los zapatos, we would replace los zapatos with los. So let's look down below. In Spanish, a direct object noun will always come after the conjugated verb. So if you look down here, quiero la camisa azul, I want the blue shirt. Okay, so this is the noun here, and notice how it came after the conjugated verb. But when we replace that noun with a pronoun, we actually move its location. So now it'll come before the conjugated verb. So instead of quiero la camisa azul, where it came after, it is now coming before the conjugated verb, la quiero. And so see how la camisa is feminine and singular. That's how we got la here. We replaced la camisa with la. In English, we don't do that. It always goes after. So just make sure that this is something you keep in mind since this is kind of unique to the Spanish language. So there is one thing that obviously that's going to complicate it a little bit more. We always have something that makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and this is something that you can do, but you don't have to. So when an infinitive verb follows a conjugated verb, so there are two verbs in a row, 
The direct object pronoun can be placed before the conjugated verb, but it can also be attached to the infinitive. So if this is something that you think will be a little bit over the edge for you, then you can always just put it before the conjugated verb because no matter what, if you put your direct object pronoun before the conjugated verb, you will not be incorrect. So an example here, this is on the back side, on page 18 of your packet. Quiero comprar zapatos negros. So we have verb number one and verb number two. So who or what do you want to buy? Zapatos negros, so this is your direct object noun. Since this is plural and masculine, we would replace it with los. And then there are two places we could put the los if we wanted to replace it. Yo los quiero comprar, so before our conjugated verb. Or, again, remember, we can attach it to the infinitive verb. So yo quiero comprarlos. Either way is correct, but you can only attach it if there are two verbs and the second one's infinitive. So what I would like you to do um, for homework, for an assignment to accompany these notes, is this part below. So I want you to write in the direct object pronoun that you would use if you wanted to replace the nouns. So what I mean by that is look up here at mete, lo, la, nos, os, los, or las, and figure out which of those eight direct object pronouns you would use to replace these words. So we'll do a couple together. For example, los pantalones, we know that that is plural and that it is masculine, and it would be called a them in English, I want them, I want the pants. We would replace this with los. If we were talking about el precio, the price, this is something that is singular and it's masculine, we would replace it with lo. So again, all I want you to do for these words is write down which direct object pronoun you would use to replace them. That is all for this video. Again, please make sure that you write down any questions that you would like to have clarified. This can be a little bit of a difficult concept.